Hello everyone, we're standing inside Kadampa Meditation Center, Ottawa, which is in downtown Ottawa. My name is Kelsang Landon. I'm an ordained nun in this tradition of modern Buddhism. And I'd like to take you for a short virtual tour around our center. So we'll begin right here. This is our meditation room, which is really the heart of our Buddhist center. This is where we hold our meditation classes and our prayer ceremonies. So we will now show you a little bit about the statues that are on our shrine. Just in front of the shrine is a beautiful reproduction of a painting of Venerable Geshe Kelsen Gyatso Rinpoche, a Tibetan meditation master who brought the Nukadampa tradition into the modern world. Venerable Geshe La, as he's affectionately known by his students, came to the West in the 1970s and has since started hundreds of Buddhist centers all around the world. In the center of our shrine is a beautiful statue of Buddha Shakyamuni, the founder of Buddhism in our world. As you may know, Buddha Shakyamuni was born a prince in a kingdom in India over 2,000 years ago. His name was Prince Siddhartha. Prince Siddhartha decided to leave his kingdom and seek enlightenment because he wanted to help the people of this world overcome their suffering. His hand gestures tell us a lot about his, his attainment of enlightenment. The fact that his right hand is touching the ground in front of him demonstrates that he overcame the evil forces of this world who tried to prevent him from attaining enlightenment. His left hand holds holds a begging bowl filled with precious nectar. This precious nectar indicates several things about Buddha. One of the things it indicates is that Buddha completely eradicated all of his inner problems, such as anger, attachment, and ignorance. To the left of Buddha is an image of Jason Kappa, the great Tibetan meditation master who lived in the 1300s. He is the central figure in this group of three. The other two figures are two of his principal students. Jason Kappa showed the Tibetan people how to integrate all of Buddha's teachings into their daily lives and showed a very pure example of how to follow the path to enlightenment. It's said that many people since the time of Jason Kappa have attained full enlightenment by following his pure example. Today, in our New Kadampa tradition, we still follow Jason Kappa's pure example and follow his teachings. Many people who come into our center ask us why we offer bowls of fresh water in front of the statues of Buddhas. We fill these bowls of water every day and as we fill them, we imagine that we're offering to the enlightened beings beautiful, delightful substances, such as nectar and delicious food and beautiful flowers. We offer these substances out of respect for the enlightened beings, and we do so in hope that they will bless our minds so that we can gain deep inner experience of the meditations that we're, we're trying to practice. By offering these precious substances, we ask the enlightened beings to help us to find protection within our own minds and follow the path to enlightenment so that we can find the same lasting happiness and freedom from suffering that they have. So here we are in the back of Kadampa Meditation Center, Ottawa, in our Dharma bookshop. In our Dharma shop, we have a large selection of books based on what Buddha taught. Some of them are introductory in level and suitable for everyone, and some are more advanced. All of them help us to integrate what Buddha taught into our daily lives. We also sell items such as prayer beads or malas and meditation cushions, and we have some beautiful statues of Buddhas. So at present, we offer in-person classes here at Kadampa Meditation Center, Ottawa. Everybody is welcome to attend them. You don't need to be a Buddhist. Everyone is welcome here to take whatever is useful for you 
from Buddha's teachings about how to find inner peace, inner happiness. So we hope to see you soon here at Kadampa Meditation Center, Ottawa.